want to grow bigger and stronger muscles, you need to do these three key factors. Mechanical tension, muscle damage and metabolic stress. In this video I will show you how to put these in action. A little disclaimer, these subjects need to be more researched but in this video I will go through the things we know today. Muscle hypertrophy refers to an increase in size and strength of skeletal muscle fibers. This occurs when muscle protein synthesis exceeds muscle breakdown. And for this to happen we do need to do resistance training. As I said in the beginning there are three different key factors we need to do to be able to grow our muscles. Mechanical tension, muscle damage and and metabolic stress. Mechanical tension happens when we are doing a heavy lift. Then we have muscle damage and this is when our muscles get micro tears and the growth happen when our body repairs those micro tears. And then we have metabolic stress. And this is when we are doing high repetition training. And this will create a hormonal environment for our muscles to be able to grow. And it's because of the lactate that will create when we are doing a high repetition training. Okay, so how can we put this in action? I will put five different things we can do. And the first one is progressive overload. You might have heard this a thousand times. And this means you need to push harder every time you train or almost every time you train. This could mean that you would try to lift heavier weights each week or increase the amount of reps you are doing or increase the amount of sets. If we are stuck on the same weights, the same, same rep or the same sets, then we won't challenge our muscles and our muscles do need challenge to be able to grow and to increase in strength and size. The second one is volume. We all have done the 8 to 12 repetitions and thinking that that is the perfect amount to do to be able to grow your muscles. But actually it's a higher range of repetition you can do and still grow your muscles. You should be doing around 5 to 30 repetition during one set. 30 is a very high amount of repetition and might create more lactate and can become more discomfortable. But even though you are doing 30 or 5, you have to come close to failure or come to failure because that's when our muscles are truly challenged and will be bigger and stronger. I usually choose to do the more heavier exercises like compounds lift like deadlift squats or so on in the beginning of my workouts but also doing those with a lower amount of reps and be sure to come to failure on those exercises and then when i'm doing some smaller exercises like isolation exercises then i will do more repetitions per set the third one is frequency. We need to train our muscles frequently. If you want to grow your muscles, you need to be consistent and train a few times a week and be sure to hit that muscles you want to grow a couple of times a week. Number four we have is nutrition. As you might know, training are very good for muscle building, but you also have to think about your nutrition and your diet. Of course, we want to get all the nutrition we need, but also we need to eat in a surplus to be able to build muscles. You can actually also eat in a maintenance, but it takes a longer time to build muscle than eating in a small surplus. And also, of course, we need to eat enough protein to be able to at least maintain those muscles we already have and also help our body to continue with the muscle protein synthesis. So being in a surplus, we can help with the recovery and repairing of our muscles. Number five, rest and recovery. You might think that seven times a day are great for muscle building, but you need to rest to be able to recover and heal those muscles because when we rest, that's the time when our muscles will repair and grow. So plan at least one day a week for rest and focus to get enough sleep. And we also should focus on getting enough rest during our workout as well. Between every set, we need to have around one to three minutes of rest if we are lifting heavy to be able to push as hard on the next set. 
If we are at lower weight and doing more reps, we can have a lower amount of rest between sets. Subscribe if you want to have videos about exercises to do for muscle gain.